Have you ever peeked into your neighbor's lives just out of curiosity? Well, Rear Window dives into that very notion. Released in 1954, this classic thriller directed by Alfred Hitchcock follows a wheelchair-bound photographer, L.B. Jeffries, played by James Stewart, who becomes a voyeur from his apartment window after suspecting his neighbor of foul play. As he watches the drama unfold, the audience is drawn into a suspenseful web of mystery and tension. But hold on tight because there are many funny, shocking, and sad facts about this film coming up, so keep watching this video. Who was your favorite classic Hollywood actor in this movie? Or perhaps you have a cherished memory associated with it. We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the Kamalime Trench below. Alfred Hitchcock directed a classic suspense film starring Jim Free Stewart as L.B. Jeff Jeffries, a photographer laid up in his New York apartment in a wheelchair after breaking his leg. He becomes convinced that his neighbor Lars Thorwald, played menacingly by Raymond Burr, has murdered his wife. Despite trying to convince a police detective friend, played by Wendell Corey, he lacks proof. Jeff enlists his high society girlfriend, played by Grace Kelly, and his nurse, played by Thelma Ritter, to investigate. The film effectively blends humor and glamour with menace and murder, offering an incredibly suspenseful and compelling story with endearing characters. Its superbly directed climax makes it a classic not to be missed. In contrast, some viewers find the characters in the film to be incredibly foolish, making decisions that seem inexplicable. They criticize the lack of exploration into Jeff's obsession and the inclusion of a romantic subplot. Additionally, they feel the movie is stretched thin and lacks atmosphere with tense moments feeling jarring rather than creepy. Despite differing opinions, Rear Window remains a landmark in cinematic suspense, showcasing Hitchcock's mastery of tension and storytelling. In the world of classic movies, Rear Window shows how good Alfred Hitchcock was at making suspenseful films. James Stewart plays a guy in a wheelchair who thinks something shady is going on with his neighbor. Grace Kelly adds some fancy charm to the story. She also acted with Bing Crosby in other movies. The movie has some funny parts, romance, and keeps you on the edge of your seat, all thanks to Hitchcock's great directing. Some people criticize certain choices the characters make and say the pacing is off, but Rear Window is still a movie that people love for its exciting story and how well Hitchcock builds suspense. Alfred Hitchcock, known for his suspenseful thrillers, found a comfortable collaboration partner in James Stewart for Rear Window. Stewart's easygoing nature contrasted with Cary Grant's demanding persona, making him Hitchcock's preferred lead. However, Wendell Corey, who acted alongside Stewart in multiple films, noted Stewart's assertive side, capable of even out arguing Hitchcock himself. The film's suspenseful narrative captivated audiences upon its release, securing a spot on the American Film Institute's list of heart-pounding movies. Beyond the thrilling plot, the inclusion of real-life elements like the book Beyond the High Himalayas by William O. Douglas added depth to the story. With its blend of suspense, humor, and romance, Rear Window remains a testament to Hitchcock's mastery of cinematic tension and storytelling. Ranked at 42 on the American Film Institute's list of the top 100 greatest American movies, this classic directed by Alfred Hitchcock stars James Stewart as a wheelchair-bound photographer named L.B. Jeffries. His suspicion of his neighbor's foul play drives the suspenseful narrative. Despite fears of irreversible damage, preservation experts successfully restored the film's coloration after significant fading. With its inclusion in the National Film Registry, it stands as a culturally significant piece of cinema. Directed by Hitchcock, it showcases his mastery of suspense and storytelling, making it a must-watch for fans of classic thrillers. Instead of starring in on the waterfront, Grace Kelly chose a role in Rear Window. This decision led to Eva Marie Saint taking the female lead in the former. The fancy meal served by Lisa to Jeff, consisting of lobster thermidor with pomelandris frites a la Julian, comes from the prestigious 21 Club in New York City. This fancy restaurant, once at 21 W 52nd Street, added to the film's sense of luxury and sophistication. Rear Window holds a place in the official top 250 narrative feature films on Letterboxd, confirming its status as a cinematic classic. The movie's mix of suspense, humor, and romance, along with Hitchcock's great directing, ensures its lasting appeal with audiences. With its gripping story and memorable characters, Rear Window remains a standout example of Hitchcock's skill in creating captivating thrillers. 
Alfred Hitchcock's amazing movie features a photographer named Jeff, played by James Stewart, who can't move much because he broke his leg while taking photos. He gets really into watching his neighbors from his window. Grace Kelly, who plays Jeff's girlfriend, had a similar accident in real life. Hitchcock's influence on the film is clear. He's given a lot of credit for his work on it. The beginning of the movie, where the camera follows a cat, hints at something mysterious happening in another apartment, adding to the suspense. Stewart's acting, along with Hitchcock's direction, makes for a really memorable mix of suspense, humor, and romance. Some people don't like certain choices the characters make or think the pacing is off, but Rear Window is still considered a big deal in suspense movies. It shows how good Hitchcock was at making tension and telling stories. Besides being a great movie, Rear Window is also important culturally. It's been preserved in the National Film Registry. Its gripping story and memorable characters keep people interested, showing why it's a classic movie. In the busy New York City of the movie, old apartments were replaced with new ones, but not everyone had fancy kitchen gadgets. There was even a guy delivering ice, showing that not everyone had a fridge. Hitchcock paid close attention to details like the lens Jeff used to spy on his neighbors. It was a special lens that made things look bigger, almost like magic. Working closely with Edith Head, Hitchcock made sure each character looked different so you could tell them apart easily. For example, Miss Lonely Hearts wore green clothes, which contrasted with Lisa's outfit later on, showing how they were connected. Grace Kelly choosing this movie over another one changed Hollywood. It meant someone else got the part she turned down. And when Lisa made a fancy dinner with lobster, it added a touch of class to the story. Hitchcock's style is all over the movie, from the exciting start with a cat to the mix of suspense, humor, and romance. Some people might find fault with how some characters act or how fast things happen, but Rear Window is still important in culture. It's even kept safe in the National Film Registry because of its exciting story and memorable characters. The camera James Stewart holds in Rear Window is an exact VX from the early 1950s with a massive telephoto lens. Hitchcock deliberately created voyeuristic shots to intensify suspense. Most cars visible are from Nash Motors Co., notably the 1954 Nash Ambassador and 1955 Ramblers. These details add authenticity and depth to the film's setting. Hitchcock's meticulous attention to detail, such as character costumes and lens choice, enhances the of experience. Grace Kelly's decision to star in the movie over another role altered Hollywood's landscape. The inclusion of real-life elements like the book Beyond the High Himalayas enriches the narrative. These factors contribute to Rear Window's enduring cultural significance and Hitchcock's reputation as a master of suspense.